Hi guys, welcome to Merlin's Ears. Today we're at Chessington World of Adventures. I'm not going to give you the usual kind of um, park vlog. Um, we're actually here at the Safari Hotel just behind me. And um, we're here for the night. We're here to celebrate our wedding anniversary. So we're staying in the Safari Hotel and we've managed to get a premium room. So it's a, a tiger themed room. And um, we're hoping we're going to get a Savannah, uh, a Savannah view as well. Uh, so we're just going to um, check in now. We'll try and show you um, the check-in procedures and because obviously a lot of it's changed since um, COVID-19 so the first thing that we know that has changed is that um, before you arrive at the hotel you do an online check-in so you notify them roughly what time you're going to get here so that they can manage crowd levels inside the reception area. So we've just come to the front of the hotel now so as soon as you get here there's a big board giving you all of the um, sort of COVID safety measures that have got in place. There is a welcome desk there so I presume that um, if you check in early on in the day they have somebody out here welcoming you and doing the check-in so that you don't have to um, queue on the inside. Uh, you are required to wear a face mask on the inside of the hotel and before you enter uh, there's hand sanitizer there as well. Come up onto the first floor just to give you an overview of the reception area. You can see all of the social distance markers on the ground, those red circles, and they've done it so it's like a one-way system just to maintain social distancing, which is really good. We just come into our tiger themed room. Uh, when you come in the room, first bit you get is like a kiddie sort of area, like a den, I suppose. Harry's got a bunk bed there. He's already checking out the TV, and there's full tiger theming everywhere. And then on the right hand side here, there's quite a lot of storage area and tea and coffee making facilities there as well. And in here we've got the bathroom. There's a single sink. Uh, let's go in and have a look in here. Ooh, there we go. So there's a bath and shower there. Yeah, so we've got individual toiletries as well. There we go. So we've got a shampoo, conditioner, body wash and a soap. Hello. <laughs> Let's have a look out here. So we carry on into the main part of the room. Really good sized bed. Really big TV actually. TV on the wall there. Nice little desk area and let's have a look. Have we got a savannah room? We do. So you can actually see over to the Wanyama Safari. You see over there it looks like some zebras in the far distance. Oh, there, get my words out. Zebras in the far distance. I said it'll be good in the morning. Hopefully we'll see some giraffes or something as well. It's not every day that I bring the whole family into the toilet to watch me flush it but this just made me jump and I think everyone needs to hear this ready <laughs> it's a tiger rules when you flush the chain <laughs> this is never gonna get old <laughs> animal enclosure in the reception area and if you can just sit there that's their latest addition an iguana and then they've got a couple of tortoises in here as well just opposite the reception desk there's these two kind of two double doors we've just come through them here this is where the movie club is uh, I've never been down here before so I'm a little bit lost but let's go and have a look I think it's from four o'clock they have movies playing Oh, here we go. Okay, so we've got tables laid out, a hand sanitising station just there, and a Madagascar film on the telly by the looks of it. You four are the bravest agents I've ever known. So leading straight off of the reception area, you've got the um, Safari Bar and Grill, which is where you come in for dinner and breakfast. I won't film in there just yet, but uh, 
I think we're eating there tomorrow at breakfast, so I'll show you kind of that restaurant uh, later on in the vlog. Oh, it's really pretty, all like the twinkly lights. So you're encouraged to keep to the left when you're walking around the hotel area and again just need to make sure you are wearing your mask when you're indoors. And true to form, Neil's heading to the pub. <laughs> this is the bar area. We stopped off at the safari bar, uh, just out on the terrace to have a quick drink while waiting for, uh, to get ready for dinner. Um, you sit down at your table and do mobile ordering, which Neil is very kindly doing for us now. Looking very serious. <laughs> and there's a really lovely view again of the animals just over there they've just all gone behind a tree at the moment but uh, I'm sure they'll come back out in a little while there you go you can see quite a few of the animals there there's um, some zebras some giraffes ostriches you can see Zuf uh, Zufari the ride at the back there going round And this is just outside the hotel, if I just turn around now, that is the terrace area there for the um, safari bar. So whilst we're staying in the safari hotel, there is a second hotel here at Chesington, the Azteca, and they are linked with a walkway just through these doors here. So we're just coming out of the safari hotel and heading down towards the Azteca, just to give you an uh, idea of how close the two actually are. There's an arcade just inside there, that's the Azteca Arcade. There's also another arcade in the Safari Hotel. Um, we can't go in at the moment because it is asking that only um, 10 people at one time in this one. And the Safari Hotel is only one family at a time in the arcades. Now usually you would be able to access the theme park through um, the stairway just in front of Neil there um, but we were notified at check-in that um, you actually have to go through uh, the front entrance of um, Chesington you can't actually go in through the Azteca gate at the moment our meal in the temple restaurant I guess I'm a little bit disappointed um, it, I've always wanted to eat here since the um, restaurant opened a few years back now because uh, the theming looks absolutely incredible um, bit disappointed though uh, the food was lovely it's a buffet but what they're doing is now there's people serving you and they're behind like a perspex screen with PP and everything so it's perfectly safe there's a one-way system around the restaurant Look, the food was lovely, um, I had a vegetable curry and then I had a gammon with some potatoes and vegetables, really really yummy. Uh, it's just the restaurant itself was really really dark, I'll put some footage in of it for you so you can have a look for yourselves, but it was really quite dark and dingy, very noisy, lots of scrap scraping chairs, and it was just, it was too noisy for me to vlog inside, so a little bit disappointed, uh, it, it was 23 per adult and £12 per child. You do get your Merlin discount in there as well, so I think we paid think, £46 for that, so that includes a soft drink as well, so it was quite good value. Um, but if you were, like me, going in there for the theming of it, because it does look impressive in the pictures on the Chesington website, it wasn't quite what it was like in there this evening. Like I say, very dark, very dingy. Um, I personally prefer the restaurant in the Safari Hotel.
checked out of the hotel, um, hotel guests get early access into the park at 9.30. Uh, you used to be able to go in through the Amazu entrance, but you now have to join the lodge entrance at the front of the park. And this, what you're looking at here, is the hotel, de uh, hotel guest queue to get into the theme park, which is a little bit ridiculous all the way down there. So by the time we get in, I think the park will be open to regular guests anyway. So fun times. So we're in the queue now, the hotel guest queue to get into the park. Uh, we've just checked out the hotel. We had breakfast in the Zafari restaurant. As I mentioned last night, that restaurant is far superior to the, um, the temple restaurant in the Azteca Hotel. The breakfast is, including, is included in the price of your room. Uh, so you queue up to go in socially distance. They take you to your table. It is a buffet like the other restaurant, but um, there's people there to serve you through um, Perspex glass. So yeah, it's really easy, really smooth. The food was lovely. inside the park the queue that I showed you earlier on the hotel guest queue into the park it did look horrific to be honest that was about five past nine but once it started moving we were in the park within about ten minutes the only disappointing thing was there was no social distancing whatsoever in that queue line so it did make us feel a little bit uncomfortable um, just a quick overview of the hotel itself the room was stunning really really loved it the, the view over the savannah was beautiful we got to see so many animals the the roaring tiger when you flush the chain was a lovely touch and the beds were very comfortable and uh, tea coffee making facilities and a hairdryer in the room as well so it's very handy um, going around the hotel though there are signs everywhere asking that you wear your face mask in communal areas there were so many people walking around the corridors without face masks on and i didn't see any member of staff uh, enforcing it at all so there's just the signs which nobody was paying attention to uh, so that was a bit disappointing um, but apart from that, we really did enjoy our stay. Uh, the park itself was really busy today. It's the day after the bank holiday, so, um, so we were thinking it might have been a bit quieter, but actually the queues were kind of around sort of 50 to 90 minutes for most rides. So thankfully, we did make good use of Harry's ride access pass. I mean, we managed to get quite a lot of the rides done. Thank you for joining us on this adventure, and we'll see you again soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.